Hey my legion, how y'all doing today with my buddy John? We're here to review, we get focus, Focus. VHS 94, Shutter Original. I believe I reviewed all, this, all the VHS, but I have to check uh, my uh, video manager. I, I do remember VHS, I think I did see that on Netflix. I don't know if that's when, I've seen, I've seen a couple with Dad. And, yeah, I don't remember if I saw Viral with that. Yeah, I might have. I did because I heard it was terrible. Oh. So I well, know. it was on Netflix. I wanted to see. I don't remember if I liked it. I don't remember. I only remember a couple of stories from there. Like the zombie one being real funny. And then like that one with that mysterious girl. In the the very first. That was a bizarre one. But this one is like, you know, 94. And it's like, you know, everything shot on video. You know, VHS. It, but it has like an 80, retro 80 sh shot of video quality to it. Which right. is really cool. And there's some real retro stuff, especially in that last one with the militia. Right. That really looks like old 80s uh, yeah. shot on VHS uh, movies and stuff. I mean, I really enjoyed it. It's real goofy, but yeah, I had I a good it, time. It was good. I don't think there was a segment I didn't care for. Yeah. And maybe the wraparound was kind of weak. That was yeah. probably the weakest part. Yeah. But the short stories, I think, were fine. Oh, yeah, they were fine. I mean, I... I I really dug it. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to say if you like anthology series. And if you like the VHS movies so far, I think you'll dig it. I mean, like I said, it's goofy, but it's cool. Oh, went too far in. Just like us. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I give it a, I give it an 8 out of 10. Yeah. I mean, some of them like, kind of like remind you of other movies and stuff like that. We'll try like a Japanese one blending like. Man in Metal might have been Tetsu or the Iron Man, and you know, but I mean, it's still really cool. Yeah. With easy to read subtitles. Was that like uh, Iron Chef? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he probably diced up people. And the, the, the Tetsu Iron Man was so bizarre. Then, and Ro oh, and I. Seen it. Oh, yeah, you haven't seen it? Oh, it's a weird one. It's a black and white. Mm -hmm. And then they had Tetsu Iron Fist, which is. In color, but more mainstream. And Roger Ebert liked that. He said it's a cyberpunk movie type thing. So it was cool. I mean, I, I dug it. So, yeah, I said I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Yep. Boy, this was a short review. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, they each had an interesting story idea. Like Jason said, one, like, uh, well, the, uh, the one that also reminded me of Frankenstein's Army. Oh, yeah. That was so weird. Yeah. So they have a nice combo of things. <laughs> that was one. I mean, one thing Frank said. I, I remember I saw it when on Netflix mm -hmm. when we got our Roku. My sister gave her. I watched it with that. That one thing, the walking teapot was so bizarre, <laughs> so weird. I was walking, I was walking teapot, I walking cookie jar, something like that. Really a bizarre movie, but yeah, it reminded me of Frank Stein's Army too. But uh, so I guess that's it for me, and my buddy John. So until next time, buddy, please take care of my legion and hail, hail Ratma, and then. Unfocus. Okay. <laughs>